Well, one of them went for the warrior, so... Oh, wait, you heal on the reefs? Really? Oh, they're just forts. I get it. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna murder these guys now. I'm ending up using the Black Light Tome simply because it has insane mites. But yeah, don't do that. Don't- seriously, don't- don't do that. That is the worst thing you can do in a hack. Uh, that just pisses me off. Uh, maybe Tyrant can get the kill? Yeah, I can. Oh right, he's Berserk, that's why he's, he's not getting any animations. Uh, I suppose I could just let this Jelly Jelly... I mean, probably best if I just pull this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright, Malcolm was gonna do some shopping. Alright, so don't stand on the reefs. I, I got it now. That means I, I don't really want to stand on this reef either. Also, does this guy have a siren song? No, he has a bolt. Ba -ba -ba. What the hell? Ugh, the sand. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, take my Ashix pussy. Smack, 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 smack. Right in the dick. Castrating lizards with the Ashix. So I'm actually doing a new. I've uh, rigged my place. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I think I'm fine. I'm actually standing up during this let's play right now. Um. Oh, nice. I fixed my computer table so that I can uh, game standing up, and it was a decision I made because. Um, I've read a lot about how bad sitting is for you, and since this is kind of my new job now, I've decided to stand up doing Let's Plays. And I believe that it is a lot better for my health. Even though it's kind of tiresome to stand up, it is just so much better for you. Oh wow, I got doubled? Fuck me. Oh, what? Okay, it's a siren song, never mind. Uh, it worked. Okay, I'm fucked. Oh shit, that's not good. Ah, uh, maybe it doesn't have to be bad. Maybe Malcolm can get her out of there? Galgus, we mustn't hesitate killing the Elder. What are you doing? Rawr? The enemy is gaining on us, Galgus. If we do not kill the Elder, Narud will not fall into our hands. Rarg? Then at least allow me to kill him. Rawr! Ah, blasted Calcus, senseless beast. What? That makes no sense. Yeah, I can... Oh, what? What? So, okay, let me get this right. Malcolm gets affected by this... That makes no sense. Gast, you gotta sort this terrain out. It, does, it makes no sense that Malcolm is being impeded by sand. I, I, this makes no sense. Why is he... Why can't he fly on this tile? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Also, Redali's gonna die. Doesn't seem like there's any... Ah, uh, can I do anything about it? Uh, doesn't appear like I can, no? So is this game over then? I mean, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to rescue. So here's the question then. Um, yeah, I will. I will get. I will get killed, and I will get doubled. I mean, it's either. I mean, it's either kill this guy and hope that the jelly, the jelly jelly is gonna go for a dolly though. That that's the problem. That is the problem. The the jelly jelly is gonna go for a dolly. So. Do I pick up Rodali and take a double attack with Malcolm? I mean, this Jelly Jelly can pretty much catch me anyway, so... I don't know. I guess it's better for me just to try and take out this guy. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Please hit. Oh, come on! Really, game? Okay, fuck this map. Okay, this map is actually annoying me really, really fast right now. It's 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 actually being bullshit. It's actually being really shit right now. Because what happens if I stand on this reef? Nothing? Oh, I've already stood on that reef. Okay. Hey, what? Oh! Hidden treasure! Cool. Still doesn't change my mood, though. Still, I'm still pissed off. 
Yeah, I'm I'm dead now. Unless like a miracle happens, I am I am definitely dead. This this is not good. All right, I'm gonna move forward, see what happens in case RNG blesses me. But no, I'm. Oh, he also wakes up now. Oh, we got some uh, reinforcements back here. Yep, I'm dead. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Okay, well, if I survive this, then that's certainly something. But I'm pretty sure the Jelly Jelly will fuck me over. Yep, it will. Yep, it will. Ah, that, me sending Redali up there was a mistake, but yeah, I... That's, that's not my issues. My issues with this map currently are the fucking sand tiles and the weird movement. Like, why is Malcolm being restricted? The ambush spawn Jelly Jelly was shits and shouldn't be in the game. Aside from that, I think this map is... Actually, it's really boring, I'm not gonna lie. This map is not doing it for me at all. This map is tedious and really, really, really annoying. Gas tried to implement a gimmick and he fell into the Revelations trap. Actually, it's not that the gimmick is bad. The gimmick is alright, but just the map design just falls flat. This map is boring. I'm not having any fun playing it. And it's 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 really, really making my playstyle shit. Anyway, I'm gonna go up until that point off screen and uh, we'll, we'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. So, I replayed this chapter. This time around, I actually got a white gem. Um, it dropped around here. I didn't even think about that. Of course, you need to search around the bones. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do, go do some shopping now because I found a white gem and I got a blue gem from the village, which is like 15,000 gold. That's a lot of fucking gold. I don't think I've ever had that much money in Bloodlines. I think making a white gem droppable is a little bit too much. Uh, I think that, I mean, 10,000 gold, that's a lot of cash. That's a lot of power to the player for something that can seemingly be accidental, so... I think maybe you ought to change that to a red or blue blue gem guest because it's too much, I think, for a single treasure. Because you gotta think of it like this. If you don't find the white gem, that's 10,000 gold you're not getting. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to, keep, to have on one secret, like, one find. I really think that should be a blue or red gem. I, I don't think white gems should drop as treasures, unless those treasures are really hard to get. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop up, stock up on some equipment, because god knows, we uh, we don't have that much equipment. We're severely lacking in particularly swords. I also like the armory theme, it's pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go and visit this uh, house. What a noble deed you're doing. Obviously we can't help you, but I know something that might. Maybe you've noticed the undersea treasure that can be found here? Apparently there's a relic buried behind the temple. That's all I have for you. Maybe Narud's blessings guide you. That's cool. So there's a... Um, there is a um, treasure behind the temple. We definitely want to go and get that. Anyway, looks like Malcolm can kill this guy. Yeah, this time I split my army up and I sent half the army to the right, half the army to the left. I think that's how you're supposed to do this chapter. Again, I just powered my way through the Jelly Jellies. Didn't really bother me at all. I triggered them in this temple and just killed them immediately. They didn't really pose much of a threat at all. Anyway, we should probably heal up Narbit a little bit. He took a lot of damage a couple turns back. He does get doubled by the sirens, so he has no business being near those guys. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send a golly to tank the fort. He might just be one of the only guys who can actually tank that fort. Let me give him the Tide Shock as well. Maybe give him, give him the Ice Wing. I'm not sure about, about Lyra. I think Agal is just so much better, you know? Alright, this works. Blam! Agal is just so much better. He... He has, well, uh, of course, uh, Lyra does have the uh, ability to move on move on water, which certainly is a nice ability to have. But I don't know. And what's her movement? It's five, yeah. So she's as fast as a golly, but I don't know how useful that water movement thing will be. Also, it seems like everyone disappears on the Overland map whenever an action is being taken without animations. That is interesting. Anyway, let's continue on to the temple. This guy doesn't move, um... I suppose we can have... No, actually, I don't want Nobia to move closer to that guy at all. Now she's unberserked. Uh, 
And that is a dead lizard man. Stab, stab, stab. Cut him right in the dick. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, hello there. Have my star chaser. Again, I don't. I think Tyrant's arm looks a little bit weird as he throws, throws his dagger. It bends in a weird way that I don't think arms should be bending. Also, how are they singing underwater? Maybe I'm asking questions. Alright, we've seen this conversation before. Ba 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 ba. Alright. Let's fuck these guys up. I'm gonna frostbite the shit out of this guy. Ow. Definitely needs to heal him up a little bit. Maybe we could even change it to the Tide Shock because there's mostly Merman out of us. Yeah, we can do that with Rolal. Change to the Tide Shock. You're gonna have your Black Light equipped. So whoever they go for, they're gonna get fucked pretty much. There we go. Now should I just keep... I'm gonna move Tyron back actually. Alright, so now we have a lot of equipment. Uh, should we give Tyron an Iron Sword? Probably a good idea. He doesn't need to use his Star Chaser unless he has to. Alright, let's continue downwards. Um, JR can probably fuck this girl up. So they can't retaliate at melee, can they? Okay, that's good. So that's how you deal with Sirens, you don't attack them from a, from a distance. Because that means they can just retaliate on you. This chick has Ice Wind and a Siren Song. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna try and look around for a few more treasures. I think. Also, I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to go and shoot down this girl. Mm, maybe it's not such a good idea. Malcolm could miss. All right, I'm gonna play it safe then. I'm gonna play it safe. Anyone needs healing? Nope. I think we're all good. Sadati down here. I really like this this ranging indication. It's really nice to have. I'm not used to having it in a game by advanced games. Ba ba ba. Ba ba. Alright. Prepare to get shocked. So I'm most likely going to use up my tide shock now. Not sure if any of the other mermen are gonna come come for me or not. Oh no! Oh no, never mind. I wonder why the miss animation doesn't display properly. Kind of weird. See, I'm on turn 11 and I haven't even been rushing. I think I think you could Ghasty could easily bump this down to 20 turns to give the player a little bit more of a challenge, I think. At least I would do that. I mean, this is not challenging at all. I mean, I I, I don't feel any stress. Like the time limit might as well just not be there. It's it's so completely inconsequential. I mean, maybe maybe you don't want it to be. I suppose Gas doesn't want you to be like super stressed for time, but I think I think 20 turns would be, or maybe even 18 turns would be completely justifiable. If you're gonna have a time requirement, you might as well stress the player a little bit, right? I mean, what's the point if you're not gonna do it at least a little bit? And I think that also adds more to the map because I'm definitely very relaxed right now, and that's kind of sucky because I don't think that's the feeling Gast wants to produce. I think he actually wants you to be stressed. But I'm not, like, I have all the fucking time in the world right now. Why should I even bother? Alright, that's one hit on a golly. And that's a level up on a golly. Is he capped? No, he's level 19. Oh my god, he has 19 speed. Oh, <laughs> he has 19 speed. Oh my god. Oh my god, he has 19 speed. Can you fucking believe it? Okay, there goes the Tide Shock. Can't fucking believe it. Alright, maybe a good thing. Because he took a lot of that. Oh my god, they're all hitting him. What the hell? What the f- 90%? <laughs> what the fuck is this piss? Oh my god. That is so stupid. Also, no jelly jelly spawn. I completely forgot about that mechanic for, for, for a moment there. 
Broom, broom. Do I even bother with the reinforcements, or do I just go and kill the boss? I don't know. Magic and skill. Rollo has 13 magic right now. He's a fucking nuclear warhead. Alright, I'm just gonna throw a Star Chaser at this guy. Boom. It's kinda sad the Star Chaser doesn't have more uses. I would give it 6 to durability. I, li I like it when personal weapons can be used a lot. Hit point, speed, resistance. Like the Poogie! Poogie, 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 Poogie. Poogie, 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 Poogie. Poogie, 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 Poogie. Poogie, 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 Poogie. So yeah, maybe I should just leave someone behind at the fort to deal with them. Like, what are they? Are they... Two lance users? An iron sword user? I mean, a golly could take them on, for sure. For sure. No fuck them up. I'll just wait here. So this fucker has a two mog. I think JR with a killing edge might do decently. Or maybe just you know what? Maybe we should just send Bram at him. Bram with the Ashrix, I think, is what we need right now. Yeah, definitely. Da, 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 da. I'm not gonna stand. Well, I can stand on this reef, I suppose, and produce some jelly jellies. They give decent experience at the very least, so maybe it's not all that bad. Ba, 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 ba. Again, the song following the trends of Bloodlines, where it's really hard not to sing. Okay, yeah, so some jelly jelly do spawn. That's fine. I can I can more than easily deal with them right now. Oh shit, that's a crit, or it's a five percent crit. Yeah, they they got some crit on them. Haha! <laughs> no hentai today, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, they do give decent experience, so. And we know who needs experience. Malcolm needs experience. Before we. Uh, is, is this a cease chapter? Defeat Galgus, alright. Well, we're definitely gonna make sure we get the. Um, we're definitely gonna make sure we get the treasure before we kill the boss. So yeah, I, I feel like at this point, I mean, what are the purpose of these Jelly Jelly? I mean, you the player is just trick. I mean, I can't imagine doing anything but triggering them to get experience at this point. So yeah, I got I got a lot of criticism with this chapter, and we'll, we'll we'll save it after the boss is dead. There's no point in using a man staff to heal one hit point. Alright, my golly can probably deal with these guys easily. The Ice Wind has some very good stats on it. It has 90 hits and 7 mites. It's basically just a better version of the Thunder Tome. So Ice Magic just seems to be playing better. At least to me. I don't know why it's better. Why is it better? What does Anima Magic have over Ice Magic? It's a little bit heavier, I suppose. I haven't actually checked. Maybe that is the case. Yeah, it has six. Yeah, I remember now. It has six weight, so it is a little bit heavier. Oh, hello there. Reinforcements. Nice to see you here. Let's see. Okay, no, no hidden treasure apparently. <laughs> little derpy tor tornado. The little derpy tornado who could. All right. So it's time to do we have the we have a blaze. Oh my god, these guys are actually kind of strong. Uh oh. Um let's see. I mean we should be able to take down this guy and then we'll see what we do with the other guy. Schmack, smack, 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 smack. Dick cats! We're cutting off reptilian dicks. So we can Radali fuck up this guy? I mean, she does do effective damage. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be fancy here. There we go. And then that should be an easy kill for Malcolm. I'm just gonna make sure that the boss doesn't fuck him over. Oh, nice. Weapon level increase. Sweet. Alright, so maybe we can even just use the long... No, the longbow is not gonna do anything here. Oh boy, 8% crits. Uh, no thank you. 
No thank you. So yeah, the Heavy Spear is effective against these guys, because they are armored, but... Alright, I think I'm actually gonna ride around and try to kill this guy with the Heavy Spear. Okay, this is problematic. Um... Whoops! Uh, this isn't good. Unless I... Yeah, I can just four blaze it. It's fine. Oh, oh no, that's uh, no okay. So if we do this, we're gonna have to rescue her, but we can't. <laughs> that looks stupid. You know what? The fire tomes just shouldn't work here. That would be funny if you just couldn't use them. Just nope. Your fire tomes are uh, not viable on this map. I mean, it would make sense in a way. All right, I'm I'm confident Bram can finish the job here. I mean, look at this. I'm taking this so slowly, and I'm not pressed for time at all. 15 out of 25 turns. 18 turns would have been cool. Oh, is this... Ooh. Uh, this is a reef. I'm not sure if I'm gonna step on the reef. Well, maybe I have to. Well, uh, I will kill this guy in a single turn. You know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to step on the reef and see if it fucks me over. Nope. You got a gold icon. Ah, of course. Oh, gosh. Don't do this. Don't, don't do this. That is, that is just not cool. That is just not cool, okay? I'm gonna go kill the boss now. I mean, it's so, so mean to Tyron. Like, it's over. Surrender now and I might let you live. Rarg! Screak! What use is this Duron? If he can't even speak your language, go ahead, kill him, he's worthless. <coughs> so Shakar is part of the boss quotes now. It's good. Grrr. So I certainly hope that killing this guy ends the chapter, or else Tyrant is fucked. Hit point, strength, skill, speed. Wow, Brahm is on fucking fire. Holy shit. Oh no, fuck me. Seriously? Oh boy. Uh, okay. Well, I'm pretty. Yeah, we can kill. Yeah, we can easily kill one of them, so it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, I guess this is not cool. Don't do that. I'm not sure if they kill Tyron, but still. I mean, like, ambush, like, ambush bombs are horrible, even if you inform the player about ambush bombs, they're horrible. I don't want ambush bombs in my Fire Emblem game at all. Like, no, in no shape, size, or form. Even if you give me, like, a fucking countdown. Three turns until ambush bombs. No, just don't do it. They have no place in Fire Emblem. They just make the game annoying and tedious. Yeah, it would have been fine. Tyron gets a sh- ah, okay. Almost fine. Oh, reinforce- Wow, I think Gast severely underestimates the speed at which some players- I mean, I'm- I consider myself a pretty slow Fire Emblem player, and... Yeah, I- I think Gast thinks you spend a lot longer than you do on this map. Or maybe he just tunes it for noobs, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna kill this guy now, and then we're gonna kill the mermaid, and then we're gonna seize. I think there's one chapter left? I'm not sure. So I'd like to get as much experience as I can before we round up. Can Nobia kill the guy? Let's see if Nobia can kill the guy. If not, I'll just seize. Fuck this chapter. She should be able to. Iron Lance. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, no. If she misses, it's game over. You've lost, warrior. I've been ordered to interrogate you now. Will you surrender peacefully? Rawr. Wretch. Ah, Radali. What's up with him? The Calcus race cannot speak. They cannot communicate. They can only communicate with, the with other Calcus. There's nothing we can do. Or he just said wretch. Hmm, Bela's gonna be angry. If we can't use him, we should just let him go. You see, the Kalkas are often forced against their will to fight. They are, they are, they are, they are the few Duron in the world that are so limited. Usually, they simply follow orders of the strongest warriors they see. Letting him walk off could be dangerous. What if we let him join us? Maybe we could bring him home. We should kill him. What? He won't. He would die meaninglessly. Do you really think this life is worth that of our allies? If you won't do it, then allow me. That isn't your decision, Bram. It's mine. Bela left me in charge here. Malcolm, he's one of them. You don't know if he'll harm us when we're not looking. We already killed his soldiers, and he's their leader. Why are you giving him a pass? 
Yes, you cannot trust anyone. Anyone! And do not trust anyone! We can't put anyone in harm's way. If we can trust them, then we shouldn't bother with them. Or if we can't trust them. We have to kill... We have to kill whom we have to kill. This calculus is already defeated. There's no use in spilling more blood than there needs to be. He's a fool. Tell him that. You know you want to. Ah, Ram, you alright? I just have a headache. You're in command. Do what you want. Hmm. Alright, go home. If you stay here, I'll be forced to kill you. If you follow us, I'll be forced to kill you. So I suggest you go back to where you came from. Grrrr. He's just setting him free? He did that to Uroda too. And that was bad. Very bad. You know you want to say something. Speak your mind, Ortis. No, that's different. It is... I trust his judgment. I'm not listening to you. It's not wise to ignore your conscience. <laughs> Shakar is your conscience. You are officially fucked. Let's try to find the Elder. I'm sure he's been through a lot today. Elder of Narud, you're alive. Thank goodness. You rescued me. Thank you. We managed to stop these wild shamelits. This is fantastic. My life being saved was not worth those that were taken away. And my grandson, he's been stolen. I'm sorry, Elder. It has just occurred to me what was lost in this fight. I saw your grandson for a moment before he was taken away. He was incredibly... something. Ah, that he is, young Siren. He is incredibly courageous indeed. And I believe he will remain so. But those monsters most certainly kill him. Well, most certainly will kill him? I don't know. Perhaps they will, but one monster let me live. You were all too late. But one showed me mercy. A grotesque... As a grotesque as the actions beings take can be. We are being still. That was a weird line. I wish for my grandson... I wish for my grandson will... F I wish for my grandson will face a similar fate. Hmm. Hmm. I must stay hopeful. Regardless, Narut has been salvaged, thanks to your kind outsiders. I see. Thank you for sharing your perspective. I will try to hold on to your words in the coming fight. Hmm, now then, allow me to repay you somehow. What is it that you fight for, as outsiders of Narud? What else do you seek? Our captain wants to find out more information about Shamu, the legendary monster in Shamulu, the Elder and Trissa. Yeah, Trissa told us that the folks from here are fighting to resurrect him. Do you know anything about it? The Elder of Shamulu has destroyed any means of us el other Elders from con contacting him. He's always been enigmatic, to say the least. However, since he has cut off contact, Shamulu has become much more violent than ever before. What vexes me the most, though, is that no Namurian magic could possibly resurrect Shamulu. I don't understand how the Shamulids could possibly think of such a thing. Huh? Hmm, perhaps... perhaps the Red Luster is pulling the strings in Shamulu. Only Viperians would be capable of even entertaining the thought of resurrection magic. The Red Luster is even doing stuff in Adrod too? How big are these guys? Everywhere. Bram? They're everywhere. Poloi, Doldrum, here. I believe Gilliam. We should press forward. We can speak to Baylor, but I agree with you, Ortus. Let's go then. Bram, wait up! You will not rest here tonight? Please, I insist that you may do. I appreciate it, but it isn't our decision to make. It's that of our captain, who has spent his time defending our ship from predators since we've been here. I see. I apologize, Elder. Oh, I must have forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> I am Mator. I am Radali. Hmm. You're Viperian. Yes, I am. I'm interested in your investment to chase the Red Luster around. That group was created by your disgruntled ancestors. What motivates you to pursue them? Why go to this end? For the sake of humanity. Curious answer. Sincere, but curious. Trisa and Narud will remember this. If your conflict comes down to facing Shamulu, we will support you. Thank you, Elder. Elder, where must we go next? Osan, I've lost contact with the Elder there. I fear that he may have been killed. If that's the case, you must try to save as many Osarnians as you can. It shall be done. Thank you, Elder. I swear to try so that we will rescue your grandson. I have faith in you. Hmm. Ah, why are you doing this? Shakar, answer me. Why? Please, why? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so yeah, criticism time. I did not like this map at all. Um, okay, so things that I would change. Uh, things that I think needs to be changed. Remove that desert tiles. Ugh, how tedious. Um, make the jelly jelly a little bit stronger, I think. Remove the ambush points entirely. Um, you can make them appear, but make them appear at the edge of the map or something. Um, you could you could probably reduce the turn limit to at least 18, if not even lower than that. I think, I think 18 is a good number. 
I had 15 turns left, and I wasn't even trying to rush in. I was turtling like crazy. So I think 18 turns, 18 or 19 or maybe 20 turns would have been absolutely justified. I think, why even have a timer if you're not going to stress the player at least a little bit? I know that a lot of players hate turn count requirements and that they feel stressed and that a lot of people would react negatively to it, but I think it's fine to do it every now and then, as long as you don't do it all the fucking time. Um... But yeah, aside from that, I like the enemy placements, I like the Jelly Jelly, They're, they add sort of a nice chaotic element to this map. It's nice that they- I actually like that they paralyze on contact, because it makes it- you have to kind of fight them- it's, it's dangerous to fight them in melee, and you kind of have to- you know, you can't- What I like about the fact that they paralyze you is that no single character can take on a Jelly Jelly on their own. They need help, because whoever you send to fight a Jelly Jelly, they're gonna get paralyzed and stunlocked. So, uh, it, it kind of changes the way you have to fight them. You either have to take them down in one turn from afar, or you have to send at least two characters to deal with one, which I like. Um, dick move, spawning the Jelly Jelly uh, in that- uh, behind the temple. Like, are you trying to get Tyrant killed or something? That's not nice. Um... Aside from that, I think this map has potential, but it definitely is a little to shape up a little bit. The reinforcements felt weird. Yeah, they just felt weird. And I also felt like this map needed something. Something extra. I don't know why. It lacked a little bit something. The story is also... Yeah, it's, uh, it's not fantastic. Um, I understand where we're going, but I gotta say that the story is disconnecting a little bit with me right now. I don't, maybe, maybe it's just me, but I, I don't know, I just feel like it's not grasping me as much. I, you know what it is? I think it's the fact that we're Baylor's minions now, and I, I'm not really sure what to feel about Baylor or his crew, or us being his crew. Like, we're kind of just the grunts of Baylor, and I have difficulties understanding what kind of a character Baylor is. Is he evil? Is he not evil? He's supposed to be, like, he's certainly not a friend. He's not as scary as I thought he would be. I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what to feel. Like, I feel like this whole Baylor calls the shot thing is kind of disconnecting me a little bit from the story because it's like, yeah, we just have to do what Baylor says. I don't know. I don't know. It certainly isn't as great as it could be, I think. But I guess we'll see where the Baylor arc goes. I'm 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 curious to see because like I hope we get to kill Baylor at some point. He's certainly too powerful for us to kill right now. He'd certainly be an endgame boss, because the guy has like capped stats. So if we're going to have a conflict with Baylor, it's certainly not gonna happen anytime soon. He's just gonna be an ally, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this patch. My name is Finn Manx, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.